Why is it so loud? Really dope sponsorship. Y'all wanna know who it is? Chad, we got a Jordan sponsorship. <laughs> but Davis. If we break down how Who's many pieces of content oh, the guy. every member has posted, Who YouTube, video, everyone Dr. averages Umar. about 30 pieces of content a month. Oh, Davis averages that one guy. per month. TikToks, the group averages about 40 per month, but Davis averages three. The least amount of streams in the group is 111 between 2021 and 2024. Davis did 26 in between that time. Is he like an evil menace? Why are they doing that edit to him? Did he like kill six people? Is that Cardi? That's like Cardi in class, bro. Davis started YouTube, and what he used to make these videos was an iPad. He made music videos, vlogs, and they, skits. I was taking care of my father, and Davis was staying with my ex-husband then. And uh, he was like, no YouTube, no TV, no nothing during the week. And then he would want to bring him home Saturday morning. And he would want to pick him up Sunday so he'd be ready. So Davis had no time for YouTube. Right. I knew what it meant to him, and I said, you know what? I will get off work early, come get you on Friday, and then I'll go in late on Monday, so you'll have, like, the actual oh, whole weekend to do He's duplicated himself. Because I knew what he was trying to do, and, and his father hated it. He just wow. thought the worst distraction for him. Right. Nelson escaping Holiday. The long for Howard. Oh, wow. man. Goodness. That was one angry slam. And the crazy thing is, yo, me and Dwight have like a low key a lot of history, bro. Back in 2008, I went to his camp. Is this like his right death Lincoln memorial? Versus, like, uh, this video goes so Carlos. deep. I hell? went to his camp and met him. And I had a Dwight Howard poster. He's either going to like kill Dwight someone Howard or have journey. died at the end of this. I don't know what's going to happen. YouTube, his inspirations was YouTubers like KYR Speedy, Sidearms, Nobody Epic, and... He didn't really watch 2K YouTubers. And during this time, Davis was a big fan of somebody that's very known today and that will help him in the future. Davis was very uh, active AKA. in his community. He would play GTA Simon Says with him and always join his 2K lobbies. This person was Phantom. He was Phantom Tax. Up to 32. That was his PSN, right? Before all this other shit. Dude, he used to join every park I used to play. Why they try to bait it like it was in that other was guy? Cheese and ass little kid I ever met, bro. With the like, glasses. Was that's what I seen. You feel me? He was showing mad love to me, bro. And I was like, yo, bro, come on, pull up. What's up, bro? He had like 10 subscribers or some shit, bro. Like the nigga that had no subs. And then he changed his name to I'm Davis. And then we started working, like, since he was like nothing. Like, as Davis put more time to 2K, he got way better, getting on several 100 win streaks and collaborating with YouTubers and teaming up with high level players. The 2K meta. Like his whole upbringing. But I want to see the menacing part. I don't care about his storyline. For me, first and foremost, it's showcasing myself and my art. I tune everything out. It's just me and the person in front of me. And oh God, me versus bro. myself. We don't give a fuck, bro. We don't get no fuck, bro. A world of flavor, born of simple ingredients. Let's go. Why they're gonna show us all his heights, all his heights, and then his fucking failure. <laughs> Hello? He sweated out. Hi, mom. Thank you, mom. 
Like, how are you going to make this turn? This is so wholesome, and then they're going to be like, but then he killed eight people. I was like, okay. How many best jump shots? How many dribble moves? How many even funny moments? And how many builds can I make before it's too much? And then at, at the beginning of 22, I was like, okay. Like, at this pretty current guys, moment, I'm up. not enjoying doing it. He uses I'm Davis channel oh, yeah, seen that behind video. the scenes yeah, stuff for his gaming channel. And then after that, right he there. dipped his foot into the mic'd up cult community. Could you please not look at my butt, please? And then after that, he switched to challenges slash storytelling. And he loved this. While going through this change, Davis was and he loved this. with agent. <laughs> well, that's a great commentary from that man. Who, <laughs> that's like me level commentary. First video, me love this. March 16th, 2020. <laughs> While AMP is growing, all the members are starting to stream. In 2021, Phantom, Duke, and Kai started. Phantom. In 2022, Chris and Agent joined them. And they all moved away from prioritizing YouTube videos and replaced it with streaming. But Davis was the only one that didn't do this. From 2021, Failed. when everyone started streaming, Ooh. to 2024, Duke had done 111 streams. Chris next door. This you already told us this. Bro. Phantom had done. He's fucking put it in the end of the video. Dude. As dead as my my passion is making videos, I'm never gonna like get on every day. Type. That's just not me. I just like YouTube videos. I like my personal right. time. But. It was a point where Davis was bigger than everybody in AMP. Everybody got their time, bro. Right now, Kai on top. At one point, Davis was bigger than Kai. At one point, Davis was bigger than me. Davis was bigger than Phantom. I would argue that out of everybody in AMP, you are the most creative, specifically with what you have at your disposal. Be straight up. You you don't you don't go to the Waffle House and post up like dude. You don't have access to like Tiana Trump to just do videos with her. You're not making real estate videos. You don't disappear for bro, two what months is the point and make the I'm back video. Oh, that he just takes a long time to make videos? Is that the whole point of this video? You also actually Why did it make video? it so, like, <laughs> fucking eerie? Hey, 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 they the had that. <laughs> like, what the hell? I may not, um, be everyone's favorite, but if there's a message I could pass to you, follow guys. They gotta make don't it get, seem like there's something to build up to. It's not even that, that big that of a deal. Hurts make you feel like it's important, and, um, I feel like you should live every day to be happy. Follow your dreams. Do something every day that makes you uncomfortable. We'll never be stagnant. Never just sit in one situation. Do something well. that makes you better. Dude, I understand everyone's not fortunate enough to exactly at that moment. Like it was wholesome all the way through. Actually, there was no switch. You never get baited. <laughs>